so pretty. I love this tree. We decided to burn the old shed today. We got a good rain. So, Chris went and got the fire truck just in case so it wouldn't get out of hand, but it's a privilege of being on the apartment. I can feel the heat from here. <laughs> We've been wanting to get rid of that pile of junk for a while, and there it goes. Amazing how I can feel that heat. Oh, they're gonna spray some water in the grass. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's really hot right there. I can feel it way over here. I can feel the heat from here, Bubba. I think it's like up here. Yeah. Imagine if that was a house fire. It's good practice for you. Every puff of wind just, yeah, every puff of wind just fuels it. If y'all look back on some of our older videos, you'll see us getting rid of that thing and getting our new one. In its place. Take long. I want y'all to see, see that beautiful Oklahoma red bud in front of mama's house. It is so pretty. I always wanted one. She bought me a Texas white bud, but it died to the ground. And now it's starting to get the purple on that. Let me show y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love it. So here is my Texas white bud, but it's starting to bloom. I don't know, maybe it was native this color and when they do whatever they do to them, grafted it, made it a Texas white bud, but since it died to the ground and it grew that tall, I would say probably eight foot in uh, two years. But I am thrilled that it's going to be this. And they're popping out everywhere. My pear tree in the background, it's almost spent, but it is gorgeous. I just love it every year. And uh, 
my Carolina Jasmine. I'm just sick about it. I don't know if it's all the way dead. An arborist here said not to not to get rid of it for a while because it, it may come back. But uh, after we had that horrible Texas freeze thing, it just, it just looks sad. But I'm going to keep it for a while and just see because it's taken me a good seven or eight years just to get it where it's almost to the top of the arbor on both sides. So praying that it'll come back. Look who is in my strawberries. You naughty, naughty kitty. What are you doing in my strawberries? That's not your bed. It's not your bed. What are you doing in there? Yeah, you're rotten. Checking our onions and then our potatoes have cracked the ground. They're coming up. I don't know if you can see right there. Here's another one right here. Look. Yep. Oh, and look here. My little, uh, my pl plum tree is in bloom. Huh? Two has come up in the same day. Right? Yeah. My plum tree. This is a methley. So excited. And then let me show you my Loring peach. It's fixing to start budding. You can see one little green thing coming up. We were so worried that that winter storm killed them, but I guess they made it. Those dogs, they want that cat so bad. Shake it, Caleb. Some more over there. He's so little. 